and we are going to dive into the wide world of HTML. And what you're going to find as we go through this is that you're going to learn it really fast. Okay, HTML is actually quite simple once you pick it up. And so what we're going to do now, it's going to seem extended because I'm going to go in detail on things. Uh, but you'll later look back and be like, wow, this I could have learned this in five minutes, uh, which you can. So, uh, And it's okay if it takes a little bit longer uh, for those of you who are absolutely new and have never coded anything. But uh, it's relatively um, uh, straightforward once you get the hang of it here. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new uh, folder. So I'm going to go over here to my courses, my ultimate web development course, section one. I'm going to create a new folder here called um, code recording, the code for when I'm recording. And I'm going to create a new folder here called hello world. And uh, actually, no, we're going to call this um, just, uh, we'll call this first website. That's what I meant to do. And what I'm going to do is um, open this folder in brackets. So let's go find brackets. Okay, I've got another project open here. I'm just going to go to file, open folder. And we are going to go find what we just created. Goodness, um, I can see all these invisible files, which is why I'm seeing all this stuff here. And was it in documents that I put it in? Yeah, sure enough, it was. Okay, documents, section one, code recording, first website. And open. Okay, as you can see, there's nothing here. So let's go ahead and create a new file. And we're going to call this index.html. Now, question of the day is, does it have to be named index? And the answer is no. However, when you're building websites, the typical entry point file that you have will be called index.html. And servers, uh, like um, if you host on a server like GoDaddy or just someplace that's hosting your files, your static files, it will look for an index.html or index.php to get your um, project started and loaded on the browser. Okay, perfect. So uh, here we go. We're going to start off by doing something called doc type, okay? And then HTML. Now, this is not an HTML tag. This is simply a statement that lets your browser know which version of HTML that you are using. And currently, we are using HTML5, uh, which is why we don't do anything else except write HTML here. And HTML5 is widely supported among all browsers. And uh, if you are developing on Windows, I highly recommend that you do not do any testing on your Microsoft Edge or at least do your development work, you can do your testing on it. Uh, because uh, most people don't use that, and the developer tools uh, available on Chrome and Firefox are much better. So you always start off a document uh, stating what type of HTML version that you're using, okay? And some browsers, you don't need to put that on there, but it can cause problems, so it's always recommended that you put it there. The next thing we're going to do to start off is we are going to put an HTML tag. Okay, this is a tag, and this is the beginning of your document. Okay, pretty cool. The next thing you're going to want to do is put in a body. Okay, and a body is like the content. Just think of a person. You've got the head, and then you've got the body. Okay, so uh, inside the body is where you can actually uh, write different things. So let's go ahead. Now that we've got some HTML here, let's go ahead and save this file, Command S, and let's click the lightning bolt over here for a live preview to see what actually happens when we load it. As you can see, our screen is blank. Is it working? Well, it's hard to know. So what I'm going to do is from day one, I'm going to teach you the professional development tools that you'll be using uh, in your life as a web developer. So what we're going to do is hold down Control Alt and J or Command Alt J, which is going to open up the console. Okay. So fail to load resource. Okay. It can't find favicon.ico, which is fine. You're always going to see this error unless you provide a little icon up here in which we don't, we don't need that. And so I'm here on the console tab. Okay. This is the Google Chrome console and that command, command alt J or control alt J that only works on Google Chrome. Okay. Uh, this Firefox has their own development tools. We'll be using Google Chrome in this course. Um, it lets us see the elements that are here. If you click elements, you can hover over them. Okay. And it shows us the CSS down here. Now this is just um, boilerplate CSS and we didn't write any of this, uh, but pretty cool. We can see what's in our body, which actually is, is nothing right now. So uh, this will be very important for us uh, moving on and forward. So nothing's happening though. And what's the reason why? Well, it's because we haven't written anything to display on here. So let's go ahead and do that now. Um, we're going to pretend that we're building a simplified version of DevSlope's uh, Learn to Code website, where you come to the website, you can find some various courses and you can buy them or watch them, okay? And so what we want to do is um, we kind of want to have some type of banner saying welcome to our page. So we're going to say welcome 
to dev slopes. Command S to save or control S. And if we go back over to our preview here, okay, um, I think we lost our live connection because I opened up the console. So let's open, open this up again. Welcome to, to dev slopes. Sure enough, it's right there. Okay. And uh, what I do want to do is uh, open up the console again. Another way to do that is right click and go to inspect. This will open up the console and it will let you inspect it here. And sure enough, whereas it was empty before, it now has an H1 tag here. Uh, data brackets ID equals five. Okay, that just has to do with brackets. They're inserting that for us dynamically um, here in this uh, as it's running this. Don't worry about that. It has nothing to do with our project. It's simply with this tool so we can do the live preview. And then there's the text, welcome to dev slopes. Okay, and again, don't worry about the equals to zero as well too. That has nothing to do with, with what we're writing here. Um, these are just some debug tools um, that has been inserted for us. Very cool. And uh, some st these are just basic style sheets that are implemented for us. We didn't write any of that either. Okay, that's default stuff. So pretty cool stuff here. Uh, live preview was canceled because the browser's developer tools were open. So just know uh, your live preview will actually not work if you pull open the developer tools. And uh, if you don't remember, the live preview is very powerful. It lets us do things like code and watch the results at the same time. So if I say welcome to dev slopes, exclamation, 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 the live preview shows that real time, which is why I like to use brackets because that's pretty dang cool. Okay, so what we've done so far is we've created uh, the, uh, we've specified what type of HTML we're using. We've started with the HTML tag and we've ended using the, uh, the backslash here. Where's that forward slash? That's a forward slash. We've used the forward slash to end the HTML. Every time you write, well, most tags in HTML, okay, will have a uh, forward slash on them. Uh, to show that we're ending it, okay? And notice how um, they kind of line up here. If you want to uh, move things around, like indent them, you can press tab to indent or shift and tab to uh, unindent, okay? And we've used the header tag so far. This is what H1 stands for. There are other multiple header tags available to us, uh, which I can show you right now. So say H2, welcome to dev slopes, okay? If you're starting to see a trend here, H3, welcome to dev slopes. H4, okay, same thing, right? Welcome to dev slopes. Pretty cool, right? So let's see what happens if I take this tag off. Well, this still looks the same. Uh, this is red yelling at us here, but it looks fine. What's the problem? Well, let's, let's see if anything's happening. Uh, Command Alt J. Let's go to elements. Okay, so we got an H4 here. And look at that. For some reason, it's like inserting it for us automatically. That's really interesting, huh? Well. Let's refresh the page. Okay, it, uh, it just put it in there for us automatically. Okay, now that's really bad and some browsers aren't as smart and won't fix this for you. So it's very, very important, no matter what, that you always listen to your IDE here, your tool, or in, more importantly, that you always end your tags, okay? So that's an H4 uh, and the higher up you go, the smaller the font gets, right? Welcome to DevSlopes, okay? So you definitely can do different types of uh, tags here. And we lost our live preview, of course, so let's open that up again. Okay, so we've worked with headers so far. Okay, welcome to DevSlopes, welcome to DevSlopes, welcome to DevSlopes, welcome to DevSlopes, welcome to DevSlopes. Uh, pretty cool. And uh, let's do one more thing. Let's go ahead and work with a title here. In order to work with the title on your page, you have to put in a head. A head is typically not visible. The things you put in it uh, are not visible. That is typically where you load things like CSS or external font files or things like that. However, one is visible, uh, which is the title of your page. So we can say dev slopes, dev slopes, learn to code. And as you can see up here on the browser tab, that is where that is specified is here in the head and in the title. We do have an ending title tag here and we do have an ending head tag here and this uh, is all coming together. Now I'm gonna get rid of these other header tags because we only need one. Welcome to DevSlope. So you've learned a lot here. You've learned again about the doc type which specifies which version of HTML. You know that you need to start your uh, your web apps or your um, HTML files with an HTML tag and then a head tag if you wanna put link things which we have not done yet. Uh, and then we've got the body tag which is actually where your content will go. Okay, and uh, sometimes also people like to link uh, files uh, here at the bottom of the body tag as well to load after the body's loaded, which is, uh, you can do that as well. And uh, we've talked about headers, one through uh, five. Um, you can look, read more about headers on the W3 references on the, on, on the internet. 
And uh, we're going to call this video done. You've just dived into the world of web development. And in the subsequent videos, we are going to finish building our very simple website, which is going to be quite ugly because there's no CSS. But uh, we got to start somewhere. So Mark Price at DevSlopes.com. Moving on and forward. Oh, 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 oh,